friends, coming to you today with a really cute little hostess gift or something you can make yourself that's really functional and really inexpensive and easy to make. And what it is, is a little tin can carry-all organizer. Now, what you're going to need is six cans, and I prefer all my cans to be the same, but they don't necessarily have to be. But some cans do look different when you're looking down inside of them. You're going to need a piece of scrap wood, and my piece is 8 by 4 inches. It needs to be at least that big. It can be just a hair bigger both ways, but at least 8 by 4. And you're going to need some kind of little handle for it. I've seen them made with actual little cabinet handles, any kind of heavy-duty strapping you have. I've also seen them made with just a piece of belt cut. I picked up this little thin black belt a few weeks ago at the thrift store for like 50 cents and I'll be able to get two or three little carry-alls out of this one belt. Now what you're basically doing is we're taking our scrap piece of wood, putting it in between the six cans and attaching the six cans to the piece of wood and then we're going to put our handle on top. These little organizers can be for office supplies, they could be for silverware. Even though the one I'm going to make today is Christmas themed, I want you to think beyond Christmas because you, you can paint these cans, you can cover them in scrapbook paper, and it's just unlimited of how you could decorate these cans up. But in order to get the cans attached to the piece of wood, you need to punch a hole in the cans. I have a crocodile, and those of you that have one of these know that it will slice through just about anything, and I was able to punch a hole with that. But if you also have one of these little 99 cent paper punches, here is another can just to show you that it will fit through the lip of that can and punch it perfectly. So the so first thing I need to do is go ahead and punch a hole in all of my cans. Now, my, these particular cans actually have a seam in them. I've noticed that not all cans do. So I'm gonna make sure that the seam of this can is going to be what's attached to my wood. All right, I have all six of my cans hole punched and painted. I've got two or three coats and pretty good coverage here. Now let me show you the paint I used. I used the Apple Barrel Multi-Surface Candy Apple Color. It's 87 cents at Walmart. It's certainly the cheaper way to go versus $4 can of spray paint. Either one will work, but if you've got the time, this is definitely the cheapest way to go if you're wanting a painted look versus paper or fabric. Now I'm going to hot glue a strip of ribbon around the center of each can. Now where the hole is in my can, that is considered the back of the can, so that's where the seam of my ribbon will be. All right, before I attach my cans to my piece of wood, I need to go ahead and attach my handle. And I just took my scissors and cut my belt just a little over eight inches long, and I'm gonna lay it on top of the wood and put one nail on each end of the belt all right, by cutting your belt just about a half an inch longer than your wood will create this space which makes the handle for your carry-all. All right, I'm now ready to attach the cans to my wood and I'm going to start by attaching the center can first and then I'll do the side cans. This will help me center all the cans on the wood. friends here is my little Christmas tin can organizer love how it turned out I just had some little Christmas buttons and hot glued right there totally optional and I went ahead and because I had some extra cans and just made an everyday one just kind of farmhouse inspired neutral color that I could use anytime so I'm gonna fill these up like I would be using them and show you how great they work. Here are my filled up organizers. There's a couple things I failed to mention and it was that a couple of the cans I did put a spot of hot glue towards the back of them just to secure them a little more and this one right here my everyday one I actually used scrapbook paper and some burlap ribbon on top constructed the same exact way 
you know, the possibilities are absolutely endless as far as theme and color and how you'd like to decorate your cans. But these just make a darling gift with or without the contents inside. So I hope you enjoy these projects and I'll be back in a few days. Bye-bye.